Hi guys, Sharice here from Pieces Calligraphy. This post is designed to help you make your brush calligraphy strokes thinner. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to practice and get thinner upstrokes. And I've also put out a question on Instagram to ask people what the one thing is that you're struggling with. And the thin strokes came up a lot. So I hope this post will help you learn to try out new tools and to get a feel for the pen because all brush pens are unique and different in their own ways. And it's also important to make sure you're holding your pen correctly at the right angle and to break, break down the letters and not worry about speeding ahead and just writing letters and words and realizing that it's important to break down the letters into those thin strokes so that way you can really put all your energy and focus on that one part of the letter. So I wanted to first go over the pens I have here. These are the three brush pens that I like to use a lot. This first one is a Pentel Sign Feud Touch. Not to be confused with the Pentel Sign Fine Touch. One way I can tell is that this, the brush pen version has the gray tip at the end. And it's a very fine tip that's very flexible, but also stiff enough that it maintain it helps. The stiffness helps you to not worry about a lot of control because it will allow you to create those thin and thick strokes fairly easily. So let's see, this is the feud. Okay, and then next we have the Tombow Fida No Suki Soft Tip. And this is this has a black cover, which is different than the hard tip, which has a blue cover. Um, the, the Tombow Feud Soft Tip has all, it's very similar to the Pentel Sign Feud Touch. It also has a thin, I mean, um, a small tip that's very flexible but also firm enough. The strokes come out just a little bit differently. I'd say that, oh, I'm sorry for the spelling error. I'd say that the Tombow Feud is a little bit softer than the Pentel Sign feud touch. And that just means that when you're doing the upstrokes, you have to control your pen a little bit more and hold it, maintain your control a little bit more. And lastly, I have my all-time favorite, the dual brush. And because of how large the tip is, I tend to go with it and just write bigger because the max thickness is pretty big. Very flexible, actually not very stiff of a tip, which is important because going upwards is a little tricky. Um, you have to really control your pen and practice those thin strokes before they start becoming as consistent as you'd probably like. So I'm just gonna use these pens throughout my demo and hopefully Oh, those are some scratch demos that I had. So the first thing that I have, and this is all outlined in my blog post, um, is that you want to try out different brush pens. They're not all the same as I demonstrated here. They're a little different. They write differently. And once you've found a pen you like, or you could do these next steps with all of them, you want to be able to hold the pen at the right angle. And I go over this in another post, so I'm just going to briefly touch it. You don't want to hold the pen upright. Holding the pen upright does not allow you to find that thick edge of the pen. So right now I'm holding the pen upright and I'm trying to press down when I go down and 
there's no variation in the thickness of the strokes. But when I turn my pen, so from straight, I turn it to the side, then I'm able to find that sweet spot between the thin and thick strokes. So that way, as I write across, I'm not worried about Actually, as I write across, I'm able to just vary the pressure in the pen. And so as I'm going up, I have the light strokes because it's at the very tip. And then as I go down, I'm pressing down and the, the pen hits the page onto the side, which is that thicker part. And again, go slow. I'm kind of shaky here because I'm going really slow, but that's important. It's more important to go slow and practice your technique than to worry about going shaky because you can always get faster and better later and that shakiness will go away. And so play around with the different angles. With the Tombow dual brush, for example, I tend to hold the pen a little bit further from the tip and, but the, but What's similar, no matter what pen you're using, is that you want to maintain that angle so that, so that you have a consistent thin stroke and a more consistent thick stroke across the page. You're not, you're not rotating, you're not changing the angle or adjusting your finger on the pen. You just find the grip that works for you and then you keep that and then the movement comes a little bit in your wrist and more in the movement of your arm across the page. Okay, and lastly, I, I'm gonna do this on half of my page here. Break it down. We tend to get too excited or we just want instant gratification. We want to just start writing, writing out whole words and sentences and love songs, but really, when you're first starting out, the key is to break it down. All letters consist of those thick and thin strokes, so it's very helpful to just pick a stroke, and this is like an entrance stroke that a lot of letters start off with. Actually, all letters technically start out with an entrance stroke. And I'm just taking my pen, holding the, it at the right angle, and I'm not worried about how they all look. I'm just going through this motion of the thin stroke across the page and literally do that all the way through the page. And you can take a break and just kind of notice the differences throughout the strokes and what works for you. Maybe change your grip, change the angle, but go slow. And you can also practice different types of strokes just to get a feel for, the, the idea here is thin, thin strokes. You might be able to hear my monkeys in the background. Okay, so practice, 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 consistency, it will all come together the more you practice. Just like with any sport, any hobby, any task. And then we'll go over in future posts how to connect these thin strokes to larger, to the thick strokes downwards. And then you'll see how it all comes together. But break it down. If, if you're struggling with thin strokes and this is what you need to be doing, you need to be holding your pen at the right angle trying different pens and filling pages, not writing out letters or words, but just practicing that thin stroke alone. So I hope this post was helpful for you. Let me know in a comment below. I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also take a look at my blog at piecescalligraphy.com and subscribe there too. I post every Sunday and this post coincides with this video so you'll be able to read more on making your brush calligraphy strokes thinner. And I'll also put in some links to the pens that I used and, and to other posts that go into more detail. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.